volatility and particularly in the bond market I think is now becoming a concern so from that perspective I think they are now trying to look at the implementation of their policy we have seen some revisions with regards to their asset purchase programs so I think they are now aiming to try and dampen down some of that volatility in asset markets rather than specifically looking for further moves such as a, a further weakening of the currency. So I think we're now at a stage whereby this correction can extend further. So we'll be looking for a move below 100 and we could see a move back down even as far as the 96 area. Um, we've got final Eurozone PMIs today. There's no change expected from the flash estimates. But of course we have the ECB on Thursday. What's your call on what Draghi is going to give us on Thursday? Yes, I think the ECB is obviously going to be the, the very big focus of the week for the, for the euro. Now, our uh, economics team are looking for a, uh, a further easing in policy as far as the refi rate is concerned, although we're not expecting a cut in the deposit rate at this stage. So I think the euro will come under some further pressure if we do start to see some further easing coming through. But longer term, when we look at some of the dynamics and the transmission channels for the such as a depot rate cut, we're not sure uh, as whether this would actually have a sustained impact on the euro. It's not actually clear what the transmission channels would be. It would have to be accompanied by some other measures which allow the, that impact to feed through into the market, such as other measures to increase lending once again. But, you, but your uh, economics team have a pretty brave call on the ECB. You, they expect rates to be cut down to 0.1%, that's the main interest rate, and the deposit rate to minus. 0.15% in Q3. What will that do to the euro? Yes, I think as, as far as those further easing measures are concerned, it will initially have quite a significant negative impact on the euro. But uh, again, the transmission mechanism for negative deposit rates onto the euro is not clear cut. Mm -hmm. It depends on what other measures the ECB put in place to accompany such a, such a move on, on deposit rates that would need to put into place extra measures to ensure that lending starts to take place and in fact we start to see overseas lending that would be the real transmission measure, uh, mechanism for a much weaker euro over the longer term